I'm at 91 Ford. My wife was supposed to take it to work today, and I was going to work on her truck, but uh, it was my day off, and I got to sleep in, and I got woken up, and she said the parking brake won't come off, and I know it's stiff, and I told her, pull harder, tried to go back to sleep. It's a pretty grumpy monkey. Anyways, she was right. I was wrong. I had had a low oil light, or a check oil light on, an anti-lock brake light on, and the brake light on. So that combo tells me that it's low on brake fluid and something has gone seriously wrong in the rear. It's not a complete surprise because when I got this, I was warned that there was something going wrong with the brakes in the rear. And since the uh, fix itself ferries didn't come, I'm out here early this morning to take it apart so that I can figure out what I need to get so that Shay and I can pick it up on my way to work. This is what I found. Uh, don't see anything wrong there. That uh, that drum is well lubricated. Well lubricated. From the smell, it appears to be uh, brake fluid. So, you know, you'd expect to find brake fluid on your brakes. Everything looks fine there. Should be good to go. And over here, Oh, see, this is what's wrong. There's no brake fluid on that one. How are they supposed to work? Shoot. Well, I better replace uh, both wheel cylinders in pairs and get new shoes for it because, you know, once your brakes have gone dry, um, they'll only work for more or less their entire lifespan. So, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. At least I know what I need. Well, here it is. It's part enough to start getting pieces. That's our greasy, dirty culprit right there, that dirty girl. I love how deliciously layered and complicated early 90s brakes are. I suppose they're only getting worse. I just don't own anything newer. Well, that's not true. Once they go to disc, disc is never very complicated. So anyways, definitely Gonna need shoes all the way around. Gonna replace both of those. Um, I don't know that I need a spring kit for it. I know that would be proper, but I don't know that I need one. And I'm trying really hard to decide uh, whether I go in and replace axle seals or not. My guess is it'll depend on whether I have to pull uh, C-clips you know, pull the differential part way apart. If I do, we're just gonna let it roll. Yeah, I know, but it'd still be fine. It's an old work truck and it's fine. Oh, well, this is not what I wanted to do today. Drum should be turned, but I'll just turn them with a sidewinder grinder and get that lip out of it and She'll go back on the road. It wasn't shuddering or anything when it was slowing down, so they weren't that bad. I 
I'd say I could probably use tires too. Most definitely. Crap. All right. Let's go spend some money on this thing. Oh, it's all done now. Sorry I didn't show you finishing it, but it was raining and I didn't want to set the camera up in the rain. Of course, now it's a gorgeous day. Better check that tire air pressure. Oh yeah, and I also swapped, I had two spares off of two different Ford Explorers. So I swapped them onto the rear two tires because there's a pretty good chance over the summer I'll come up with uh, a set of good used for free. So I just don't care that much about it. Down underneath there, found out that the drive line is totally roached. No, no pins left in it at all, so we'll have to do that next. And it looks like it's going to be an absolute bear to break it loose. So we'll have to see how that goes. But for the moment, it drives again. If you're doing this and you're all disappointed because I didn't show you how to put it back together, what you do is you only take one side apart. You just take one side apart and then you pop the other side because when you do it, you always do it in pairs. You pop the other side and it's a mirror image. So you just copy it back into place. Just to double check, double check that all your springs are on the right side, all your cables are in the right locations, everything's clipped and whatnot. And then you put the, the drum on, you run your self adjuster in, you want to take that apart, clean it and grease it, put it back together. And then you put your drum on and you turn it. And you take it off and you give yourself a gesture a bunch of clicks and you put it on and, until it starts to drag and then you go one click at a time until you can just sort of hear it dragging a little bit and you should be good to go. And then you do the other side. Well, one thing down. A million things to go.